Hi and welcome. In this video I'm at the beautiful Baltic Sea in Germany doing some nice landscape stuff and I have five common landscape photography mistakes for you and how to avoid them. I've seen the same landscape photography mistakes over and over again and that you can avoid them in the future. I give you some smart advices how I avoid those mistakes and maybe you can do the same things as well. Mistake number one is the light. If the light is not right, and that is actually a rhyme, then you can't take great landscape photos. A lot of people always look at photos and think, ooh, it's a lot of Photoshop and it's a lot of uh, composition and stuff like that, all made in post-process, but it's not. Most of the great photos are taking great light situations. So what you need is great light. And when is the best light? For me the best light is in the morning and in the evening, especially before sunrise and after sunset. So those two um, slots of time in the day are the perfect time for me to take photos. I want very soft light and sometimes you even have soft light over the day when it's a cloudy day or something, but you get the best um, uh, the best shots and you have the most of luck when you get out early in the morning and late in the evening. Mistake number two is I'll fix it in post. And post-processing is a nice thing and I do post-processing as well because it gives my images um, the last step. So uh, a lot of brilliance and I can get more colors into the picture and stuff like that. But to get more colors, I need the colors actually in the picture. So don't always say I'll fix it in post. Do it right in the first place. Do it right when you take the picture. So if you have something disturbing in your picture like rubbish or something you don't want the picture because maybe it doesn't fit with the color or something, remove it before you take the photo and don't fix it in post. Don't, don't always say I do it afterwards, do it right in the first place. And what I can say as well is use filters, use neutral density filters, polarizers, you can get optical effects you can't get in post-processing software. So do it right in the first place. Mistake number three is having no foreground. And maybe you heard about it, landscape photography, foreground, those are two things that fit perfectly together. So what I usually do in a nice landscape situation like I have here now at the Baltic Sea, we have the beach, we have the sea, we have the sky and all those nice things together, but it's everywhere here. So when I walk along the beach, I have it everywhere. So what I need to get a special picture, a picture that is different from other pictures, is a foreground. Simple foreground. For example, rocks, for example, um, sticks, for example, trees that are laying in the water like here in that situation now. I'm looking for those things because the background is always the same when I walk around the beach. But the foreground makes the difference. So take a look for the foreground. Mistake number four is taking too many different pictures. What I mean with that is I've seen a lot of people coming to a nice spot and taking, for example, one picture, the second picture in a different angle, the third picture zoomed in, the fourth picture zoomed out, the fifth picture uh, going two steps backwards, uh, two steps forward, three steps to the left, three steps to the right. So each photo is different. Each photo is a totally different photo. And the problem with that is that in most situations you won't have any good photo. You have only 50% of good photos. So every photo is like 50% but no really good photo. So what I would recommend you is just Take a look for foreground, take a look for background, take a look for the right light situation and then just frame the image on your tripod with the camera and then take one photo, take a look at the photo and take the same photo again, the same photo again, the same photo again. Just change different things like a graduated filter, like the shutter speed, like for example the time when you take the shot. So sometimes I just uh, take my tripod on a spot 
and then I just wait for like one hour. And then I take the same photo again, but one hour later and the light is totally different, the clouds are different, everything is different. But I want the one great picture and not 50 pictures that are just rubbish or kind of rubbish. And the fifth and last tip is too far away. You're too far away. A lot of people are too far away. Especially when you have a wide-angle lens and uh, the first things beginners do when they take landscape photos is buying a, a wide-angle lens that they get more on the shot, which is pretty cool. But the problem with wide-angle lenses is you have so much in your picture that you need to get very close. And about that last part, a lot of people forget. So you have to get very close to things and then they appear bigger um, in the picture but you have a nicer composition in the picture when you get closer. For example, in a situation like I have now, I'm here with my camera and the sea is like five meters away. When I take a picture from that point of view with 60 millimeters on full frame, I have everything here on the beach in my picture. I have the sand, I have three trees, I have the sea, I have the clouds and everything. But for a clean composition, I don't want everything in the frame. I just want the simple, small pieces together that I want and that you only get when you get close to your subject or object that you want to photograph. Those were five common landscape photography mistakes and how to avoid them and one big mistake is don't having enough of mosquito spray with you when you're at the beach. It's not much wind here, a lot of flies flying around here, a lot of mosquitoes flying around all over my face. Maybe you have seen them in the video. Um, it is a long time now after sunset. It is maybe half an hour after sunset already, but we're still filming to have a nice light and uh, to get you a nice overview of where I am actually. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And I, I, I hope you don't hurt all those mosquitoes flying in the microphone here. And I see you next time on this photography channel. We have a lot of um, videos. If you have some uh, wishes about video topics, then just write it in the comment section below. And I'm interested in which mistake you already did. And uh, maybe you have some other mistakes that you just saw uh, when you walked around somewhere and then just write it in the comments as well. See you next time. Never forget, sag mal einstellen, Digger, und hau da rein. And thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Thumbs up is very great. I think the world changes when you hit thumbs up. Give it a try. Are you interested in Lightroom? Check out my video course.